Okay, so let's take a look at this spider light holster and we'll see what we've got. Comes in a nice little box, some simple diagrams, shows you how it uh, fits onto the, the cleats and how it, it rests on the side of your hip. Really straightforward, nice little package, nothing uh, exciting there. There's also a sticker inside which uh, is just an enticement to get you to register your product. And then there's some simple instructions that come with the kit, fairly well laid out. Very easy to use, easy to read, and yep, we'll get those out of the way. And the kit itself basically consists of three pieces. Okay, so it's the cleat that fits onto the camera, and the piece that fits onto your belt, has a little locking mechanism here, and an Allen key to make some adjustments if you need it. So I'm gonna mount it on my Sony A6000, and uh, it's just, move this up here so you can see it I'm just going to thread this into the quarter 20 on the bottom of the camera like so. And you, you do have quite a bit of adjustment here. So you don't have to worry about it on the Sony A6000, you don't have to worry about it interfering with the battery door. Um, and you also, if I snug this down, don't have to worry about it interfering with the um, LCD flip out panel. So once you've got it in place, just snug it up like so. And you're pretty much ready to go. So now, once this is on your belt, you know, it's just gonna hang like so. Take it in and out, unless you slip the locking mechanism like that, and then it's not gonna release. Now, one thing I wanted to show you that I don't think is covered fairly well in the instructions, or it'd be simple for a lot of people to miss, and that is, this piece slides back and forth. And if you take a really close look, Right here, you'll see some threads in the hole. So if you want to take this piece out and turn it around because you're finding that yours is interfering with the battery door, the way to do that is to just bring this to this end. So you can see the threads just faintly cut in at this end. And if you just take the bolt and just slowly back it out, You can take the bolt out, you can take this out and turn it around and that positions your tripod mount in a different location so it doesn't inter interfere with the battery door on the bottom of the camera. Now put it back in, same thing, just nice and simple, thread it in. Takes a little, you have to get it started straight. But once you start the threads, it should go in without having to force it. If you're forcing it, then you're gonna strip the threads and you're, you need to back it out and start again. And then once it's in, it's, it's all loose like so. So let's put it back on the camera one more time. set it right there just about in the middle should be good enough like so and then just gonna drop in like this now the other thing I am a Manfrotto tripod user so I can put my cleat for the Manfrotto tripod on here no problem and even in that configuration I'm still not interfering with the battery door on the A6000 anyway. I might have to move it a little bit one way or the other for um, my D3300, but I haven't had any issues so far and also haven't had to use the Allen key. Nothing has come loose on me. Um, you know, there's some Allen key th screws on the bottom of the belt clip here, but so far, uh, the only thing I've noticed about this uh, system is that this clip is fairly robust. I found that I had to take it and kind of, you know, pull it this way a little bit just to get 
the thing worked in. But uh, at this point in time, it, it works really well. This is a really slick setup uh, for carrying your camera, especially something, a light camera like the A6000. Uh, so there you go. Highly recommend it. Go out and buy it with confidence. And this is the Spider Light Holster.